morning, Pam Meyer here with Design Works Limited, and I have a question for you today. Have you ever thought of using a designer, or would you rather do it yourself? So those are two good questions, and I have some questions that you need to ask yourself if you've ever wondered about which way to go. So if you've ever wondered about the answer to the question, then here are some good questions to ask yourself. Do you have the ability to get all the way through the project yourself? Do you know the best people to help you with that job? Uh, do you have a vision of how that project's going to look and how it works with the rest of your environment? Do you know how to put a budget together, which is really important, so you don't run out of money before you get done with it? Uh, do you know the latest trends and where to get those trends? And do you know the vendors and where to get the best prices so you can keep yourself on budget? So if you've asked yourself those questions and the answer is no to any of them, then DIY is probably not your best option. Um, for instance, you could probably paint a wall, but can you change out a toilet or can you put in a new light fixture? Those are parts of the job and that's where a designer and a good team come into play. So people ask me all the time how I work, and I actually use kind of a hybrid approach. Uh, and that means I tailor uh, the pricing and the job to each client in each project. And it's a combination of the stocking dealer status that I get from having uh, resources for a long time and also an hourly rate. And that way I can get the best for my clients. So I start the project with an initial consultation and I listen to my clients. I find out what the problems they have with their current environment and then we put together a plan and it's a wish list and basically we go room by room that they want to address and we figure out what we need to do step by step and then I put a budget together which we talk about and once that's all clear then we get going on the work. We sign a contract, I get a deposit, and I start pulling all my resources together to make this a beautiful plan. So once we have all our objectives clear and how we're gonna proceed with the job, then I become your detective. And my job is to source out all the parts and pieces of the job to make sure that they're gonna to work together. And that's especially important at this point in time because the supply issues are so critical, as we all know. And it's so much nicer to be able to talk directly to the vendors instead of an 800 number. Who doesn't really care about your job? I care about your job. And I will make sure that we get what we need when we need it for the job so that it can continue to flow in an orderly manner. So then once all the parts and pieces are purchased, selected, then I become the band leader and I orchestrate from the background. I'm checking with the contractors. I'm checking with the lead times on all the resources. I'm checking with the vendors and I'm making sure that everything comes together as it should. And you end up with the beautiful environment that you were planning on having. So in other words, our goal is simple. We create the vision and then we have fun doing it. And that's the way it should be.